Good morning, Tams fam. I know it has been a while since I have reached out to you guys. And I just want to say thank you for all of my new subscribers and all of my new followers. Um, I have been trying to get myself back in the scheme of things. Um, but thanks for watching my vlogs. I wanted to at least submit something if I could not get behind the um, the the, the um, screen here just to provide you something so that you know that I'm still alive, I'm still well, but I want to say, um, again, thanks for all my new subscribers and there will be more information coming out as the time progresses. So really what today's video really is just about is just t catching you up with what, what has been going on with me. So I've had a little procedure done and so now I'm recovering so I am now getting myself back into a routine. So more like a morning routine. So um, since February, actually since January, I had um, started incorporating like a low sodium diet, drinking lots of water. So I have a lot, I have, this is 20 ounces of water. So I try to get in um, at least 64 ounces of water a day. I know they always say, to try to get more, you know, of like your body weight, but I'm going to be honest with you. I am doing all of that. Okay. So, <laughs> so I have incorporated this week working out. Okay. So really, truly my morning routine is now, now I was working out off and on for the last past few months up until my, my procedure, but now it's like I'm back in the gym. So what I really want to talk about today is developing that morning routine and your mindset to get you back and ready to be in business and focus on your goals. So although I did go and work out this morning, I got up at 530. I did not hit the snooze button. That was that was a huge ordeal. Did not hit the snooze button, immediately got up, went and took my dogs outside, got dressed because to be honest with you, my morning routine actually started last night. So I probably should have said that first. So last night, I actually got everything ready for, for working out. It was already ready. My uh, water bottle was already sitting on the counter. My workout clothes were already prepared. So there was really no giving up or, you know, having an excuse as to why I can't make it. So like I said, the alarm went off. I immediately got up, got the dogs out, got dressed filled up my water bottle, grabbed the towel, and my husband and I, we went to the gym. Now, I am starting off pretty slow because, again, I've had a procedure done, so I am really trying to take it slow, but I got out there. I burned 200 calories, and who knew it was going to take that long to burn 200 calories? But anyway, it's just really just really getting my, my body back moving and just getting things back in gear where they used to be. So I just wanted to say that in order to really have a focused goal or an executed focused goal, you have to know where you're starting. You got to, you know, you have to put a plan in place. And that really starts way before the morning. You probably need to do that the night before. Understand how your day is going to go. So um, like I said, I decided months ago that I was going to be on a low sodium diet. I was going to start working out. I was going to take care of myself, start drinking more water, um, you know, things all of, of that nature so that I can really start to feel the energy and be energized and get my business right where I want it. OK, and so now there's no more excuses, no more excuses. I've been laid up. It's time to do more things. All right. So I'm going to let you know, I went to the dollar store probably about a week or so ago and found the most amazing little book for what well, ain't the dollar store no more. It's what the dollar 25 store now. They have like a bunch of these cute affirmation books. I got some for my kids too, but this one in particular was really resonating with me. It was called be good to yourself. And so, um, I need to fill it out. So then that way I can say that this is my book, but there's just a couple things in here that I wanted to talk about that, really helps get me going in the morning embrace every change okay listen i'm getting myself back up into working out and creating myself a morning routine at the end of the day it's a challenge okay but i have to be able to embrace it because there are going to be 
more challenging things that's going to come about and I need to be able to prepare for it and embrace it. Okay. So I really, really love that. And that was the very first two pages of the book. Okay. Embrace every challenge. Love it. All right. There was another one in here that I did like. Okay. So my other one that I really loved Hold on, let me find it. Of course, Be Good to Yourself, which is the name of this book. Oh, this one right here. Relax, recharge, and repeat. Okay, so for me, I am that person where I need to relax, recharge, and repeat. And um, I just wanted to share a couple things out of that book because I think it's important to, to like I said, be determined. Embrace your challenges every day. But you have to be able to get yourself going so that you can continue to stay energized and that you can be more willing to get up, do what you're required to do and all of that. Now, with that being said, I am not a full time um, business owner. OK, I am working my business on a part time basis. I do have a full time nine to five gig. Um, that requires a lot out of me. So I am trying to, at some point, work for myself at some point. But I do know that I need to encourage myself to have a mindset of a millionaire mindset. And I really could be that. I, I know I'm going to be that, you know. Look at all these different, hold on, let me show y'all. All these different attributes that I got up here. You know, I got my degrees and my vision board of some things that I am currently working on. This is from 2022, but I do have one that I made for 2023, but I'm still working on a couple things up there. And I have, you know, that I'm blessed and I do travel a lot. As you know, my business is called Tam's Taste and Travels. But, um, you know, I just want to say, do not worry, you know, about the things that are supposed to be for you. But at the same time, faith without works is dead. So if you do not get yourself up, Put yourself in a groove, get yourself ready to, you know, to be in the mindset of I can and I will. So watch me. Then how are you going to make anything happen? OK, and so I know this is technically day one of just me really getting back on here and getting in front of the camera. But I just want you to understand that there's been a lot of shifting in my mindset that has been happening in this last few weeks that I've kind of been MIA. And so I just want you to know that just moving forward, you are going to see a lot of transition and happening because although I'm a nine to, I'm working still nine to five for someone else, but give me one year, mark this day. Today is August the 21st. Mark this day that in one year, I will be working successfully for myself and surpassing my nine to five income, because that's just how determined I am. Okay. I can, and I will. So watch me. So again, I just really wanted to get on here, Tam's fam, and just say thank you guys for um, continuously um, subscribing, continuously li liking and watching all of my videos. I do expect to have a lot more business content as I continue to build my brand using my travel income. I just want to let you know that you will start to see more videos coming from me. Um, these videos are going to be primarily what I have learned <laughs> from um, starting my businesses and, and things that I've um, been able to maybe go through and show you what not to go through. So I want to just help my people because I understand that there's a lot of folks that are like me. We have some great jobs, but at the same time, we want to be able to do some things for ourselves and for the common good, right? So um, I'm still going to prepare to share those things with you. And I cannot wait to do that. So now that I am, I feel like I'm back to 100%, maybe not 100%, I'm more like 90%, but I'm getting there to 100%. But now that I am, I just want to know, just let you all know that I would definitely be back in front of the camera doing what I love to do, which is help my folks. So with that being said, if you are interested in traveling or you are a person that loves to travel and you're not making any income or making any commission off of it, 
contact me. I will show you exactly what it is that you need to do in order to earn income by traveling. So again, I just want to thank you all for watching my videos and please like, comment, and subscribe and come and join the family. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.